see. <clears throat> Don't want to get paint on some other stuff. Ooh, brush is dripping. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Water on it, quick. <clears throat> now it's gonna all start moving. <clears throat> do, 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 do. More water. More dribbles and drains from the color. <clears throat> At the bottom of the drips, so they don't look like a drip. Can also put water one spot and that will get the paint to go away all the way. And the color will fade quite a bit. You see that's still got some pigment in it. Oh, I guess my paintbrush is not helping. You see. <laughs> you can see the rocks in the back have so much color. Really trying to get that in there, get that matched pretty good. <clears throat> Move the ledger store and they're putting up on the perimeter of the pool there. <clears throat> and let's see what I want to do now. This is the darkest brown I got. <clears throat> These all just came. These are oops paints at uh, at Home Depot. So I got them for nine bucks, regularly forty-five or something, I guess. So <clears throat> pay attention to the oops paint. Step in the hose, it's gonna spray me right in the butt. Get the fuck out of your face. Ugh. Trying to hold the camera and paint at the same time. Not a good idea. I don't know that I love you so long. Boo. Whoops, sorry. Boing, yeah. So what's going on over here? Well, it doesn't have that much color, so. <clears throat> yeah, what? Keep remembering there's a camera, Dave. Gotta hold the camera in the best way they can see stuff. I'll go with the, let's see, a little bit of that, and a dose of that. That's more watery. All right, let's see if I can turn this. It's still working? Yep, still working. All right. Got that new paint that we did. Oh, that new patch you can see right there. <clears throat> it needs more, more color. Got some of that. The rinsing does get rid of your your pigment, so you got to come back and hit it. And then the 
the uh, brush also pulls out color. <clears throat> This rocks almost pretty good. <laughs> it's all with the ham with the brush. There we go. I keep taking it off. I gotta ask Find some more. Okay, I think my last step is going to be a, a little bit of black spray. All right, let's get out of my way, dog. All right, make sure your sprayer is set to the right nozzle spritzness. So we want a little tiny spitz. See, I'll make a little dot and open it up a little bit more. See all those dots? Those are good. Except on the stones and stuff that so you don't want them. So I'll let them sit for a second and check to see if I got any paint on anything else I don't want. And then so they sat for a few seconds. And I'm just going to give them a little mist. And so it'll, diff it'll diffuse it just a, just a tad. So this little guy is looking pretty flat. So I think I'm going to add... We had that white on there, right? So, <clears throat> which is working out just fine for the coping stone sort of in the same color family there and uh, the ledger stone also got a little bit of that that's just the stone itself that's not uh, paint that was already that color from our stamping thing oh and I'm noticing the bottom of that and that just just came right off so I'm gonna get more of my more of my raw solid color get rid of that a little bit Got a drip here. Remember the rocks on this thing are just totally very, very strong, dark. So, let me get those in there. A little bit of mist, not too much. And then it all runs off and goes away and goes bye-bye. All this is going to get sanded, and that'll bring out uh, the edge of the cement that's underneath it. I still feel like that rock needs, like this needs something. I think I'm going to give it a spritz of the black. So we'll get the, let's see, this maybe could use some of that too. All right, so let's get everything pretty moistened properly. All right, these are the far away bigs. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now I gotta go blow it off the ledger. Oh, that's not that's paint. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, I think I need a more vigorous defense of the ledger stone. Uh oh, why have I no? Oh, my son's turned off the water. <laughs> he forgot I was still here. All right, so let's see here. All right, all right. So that was a good demonstration on uh, make sure you have your paint gun only paint only pointed where you want things to be painted. <laughs> all right, I think I got all the 
the little dots. <coughs> all right, so now I'm almost out of this. I'm gonna go turn the water on. But you can kind of see the little, little dots. Yeah, see that? That, added, that gave more variety, more texture. Like the real ones right there have so much stuff going on. Uh, having this black thing, these little dots, and you just, you can miss them. You let them sit for a second, and you gotta get back on it. This had enough water on it, so all the dots just faded right down. Um, so, that's a real rock. These ones are what we're trying to get sort of in the same range of color. And uh, don't spray the ledger stone with the paint container. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Uh, all right, one last thing. On these little cracks. <clears throat> I'm going to use this black carefully because it tends to go blue um, sometimes. <clears throat> so, and it looks strong and then it's going to, um, let's see if I can get rid of some of these. You can sell the way the streaking is of the, the spray pattern. See, if you just pay attention to stuff, see, I'm just rubbing it in my fingers and, yeah. Yeah, all gone. All better. All better, more better. Get it wet. All right, all right. <clears throat> all right, boys and girls. That's how you paint a rock. <clears throat> Paintbrush, spray bottle with water, spray bottle with black. Don't spray the letter stone with the black. And, uh, let's see. Maybe I got some little pattern of streakage from my black up here but it looks good so I think we're good so Mr. Dave here on the rock pile little tutorial on painting rocks so hope you're having a good one go to DaveRHenderson.com uh, www.DaveRHenderson.com for my blogs and for links to other platforms YouTube channel subscribe if you have not got over 150 60 uh, videos on how to make fake rocks and stuff and other uh, ramblings by Mr. Dave. So you can go there and check it out. And uh, thanks for uh, watching. And uh, go to DaveHenderson.podia, P-O-D-I-A, DaveHenderson.podia.com for how-tos, free stuff, download PDFs. There's some videos you can download, I think, for free too. And see what we do when we do it. So we're almost done with this big monster. Just finishing up some of the painting. Um, Trying to get her done. So God bless you guys. Have a great day. Be mem remember to be thankful and forgiving. Those are the two key traits of human beings uh, that are good for them. And you get those dialed in, become a master at being a forgiver and a person of immense sense of gratitude. And you will live long and prosper. Or live long and prosper, as Spock used to say. Live long and prosper. Yeah. So anyways, God bless you guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time on The Rock Pile. Mr. Dave, checking out. Bye.